Look at that. Again, they got us. We flopped. Look at we. That's my mana. That's debt. That's debt for that's the ends. Right, man's getting set up at 16. And the worst thing is, these things are always been going on. It's a tribal thing, it's, it's been going on from day get go. But, but it's just, I don't know, man. This is my ends. I really, really grew up here. So did about another 100,000 people. They can tell you the same thing through the same words. They might not even know each other. But we all grew up here, man. And it's like, South East has been so raw, like from our music, from us just talking about it. And it's been like this for so many years. But it's like, now it's getting reported. You don't realise in how raw it is. But the, <laughs> but the thing is like, I don't know man, how do we address this situation? Because it ain't ever really, really, really gonna stop. How's it gonna stop? How do you save them? How do you, I was the Prince's Trust. They're doing a lot. They took a bunch of us to Saxmundum. Took us to a castle and told us about choices and decisions. That don't happen for everyone. A lot of people are too fucking ignorant to even talk to people like the Prince's Trust. So we look at it like, I don't know man, how do we change this? And I was just chatting to my girl and it's the same thing we're saying like, gotta realise these are disaffected tribal youths. We're all ganging together because no one else gives a fuck about us and the rest of the people want to kill us and the other people want to put us in jail. So look at that situation. I'm like 14, 15, growing up, I've got my people that will back it for me. I've got my people that hate me. I've got my people that will do me something. I've got my people that will do me something just because they're from a different end. And I grew up with someone that done them something. I've got my parents that don't really want to hear me. Ain't really got a lot of money trying to work three jobs. I grew up as a, I'm to a single mother myself. Like... All I know is that I'm watching these films, I'm listening to this music and all they can tell me is that that's the way to get out of this. That's Because that's what everyone wants to do, get out of this. Who the fuck wants to live around the killers, the fucking rapists, the paedophiles? Well, we ain't really got that much of that in our community, but we probably have. We're just blind to that shit. All these, the muggers, the drug sellers, who the fuck wants to live around that? They think what, because we're black, we do? Because these are our people doing this. We do. We don't condone this shit. Thank you Not at all. So but the funny thing is, they don't fuck with us. So we just come to accept it. And that's where we're at as a black community. We're just accepting our failings. Because look at this, what? I'm second generation black British. My mum's first generation, grandmother's Jamaican, I've got Clarendonian in me, like, me in come from Kingston as well, that's it. On my dad's side, he grew up in America, he's Trinidadian, he grew up in that shit as well, like, but then he come over here as an immigrant. So you're looking at it like, I'm second generation, all this is going on now, that's third generation, I'm a big man, I'm 29. That's the third generation coming up doing all of this stuff. See, look at that. Shaheem's looking at the paper. My son's looking at the paper of what's going on. It's sad. It's a sad event. Because that's what, fourth generation? Let's leave it on that note, man. T-shirt bought in Australia. Um, yeah, can't, can't, you know, promote, promote, promote. It's like a dub.